Welcome to the Fredericksburg Center of Creative Arts, FCCA, December 2021, January 2022, Winter White National All Media Exhibition. I'm Carol Morgan, the curator at the Fredericksburg Center for Creative Arts, Frederick Gallery. Our gallery is open on Mondays from noon to 4, Thursday, Friday, noon to 4, Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4, Sundays, 1 to 4, and we stay open late on first Fridays till 8.30. We hope that you will come in and visit because seeing art in person is the best way to view our art exhibitions. Thank you to our videographer, David Kennedy, for providing these videos for our YouTube and our social media. During December, the Jan January, December uh, Fredericksburg Members Gallery Show is the annual holiday show featuring a variety of work by our FCA artist members. Uh, please come in if you're gift shopping. We have perfect uh, all price ranges, all types of media. The Winter White <clears throat> exhibition provided our artists with an opportunity to submit art with a specific theme. Of course, this challenged our juror, Jennifer Galvin, to select a limited number of works from many entries to form a cohesive exhibition. I found a quote Jury an exhibition is like creating a work of art. You look at what's on your palette and then go from there to make a unified work out of the assortment of all the artworks that are available. Jennifer Galvin is a Virginia-based artist and has been making paper since 2002. She holds a BS in graphic design from Oregon State University. She is currently on the Virginia Commission of the Arts teaching roster and enjoys teaching art at many venues. Her love for making paper has gradually evolved to painting with paper, paper pulp painting. Jennifer is a member of IAPMA, the International Association of Handmade Paper Makers and Paper Artists, NAHP, the North American Hand Paper Makers, and a member of the FCCA Center for the Creative Arts. Her work is shown locally at Art First Gallery in Fredericksburg, Virginia. She is currently serving on the board of Athenticos and Art First Gallery. Jennifer has exhibited in regional, national, and international venues. You can find examples of her work at her website, www.jennifergalvin.com. Welcome to the FCCA Juror Position, Jennifer, and thank you for providing, providing your expertise as you selected this wonderful exhibition and the awards. Jennifer? Thank you, Carol. It was nice for you to introduce me. I appreciate all your kind words and thank you to the FCCA for having me here as a juror. It was a real honor and pleasure to jury the FCCA Winter White National Jury Show. I just want to thank all the artists also that entered in art into the FCCA's 2021 Winter White Show. There were just so many pieces that were outstanding. It was extremely hard to get them down to the pieces that are in the show and much harder even to choose the awards. There are many difficult decisions to say the least. Congratulations to all the artists that had work selected to be in this beautiful show. Also, just the past couple of years have been incredibly challenging. So I just wanna say congratulations to all the artists that have been pushing through the challenges to submit to this show. I know that you know it's been hard for us to just keep positive and keep working through. So I just wanted to say congratulations to all the artists for keeping going and making all this beautiful artwork that will have such a positive impact on everyone that comes to FCCA to view it. And I encourage you, if you're watching this video, like Carol said, to get down here and see it in person because it is a beautiful show. Um, also, um, I just wanted to tell you what I was looking for as I juried the FCCA's Winter White show. Um, Personally, I love to see story in a piece of art and how the art relates to the heart. I also, of course, wanted the art to be of utmost artistic excellence and unique in the medium the artist was using. I also look for composition, design, and color in the works that were chosen. And as this was the Winter White Show, that was a little bit difficult. Color is something that I love. And so I was very encouraged to see how well artists used color, even though the theme was Winter White. So we had lots of amazing use of color and composition involving the theme of winter white so it was very fun to see how you guys did an amazing use of color and 
composition within the theme. Um, let's see. Uh, but the other thing that I was looking at was if I looked at a piece and then walked away from it, but it was really calling me back for a second look or a third look was another way that it made me just feel like that was a piece that was really speaking to me as a juror. Um, and that is pretty much what I was looking for as I juried the show here. And again, I just wanted to thank all of the artists that submitted work and the FCCA for having me. Um, and just wanted to say that if your work was not chosen or you did not receive an award, don't lose heart, keep making art, continue to apply for, for shows and workshops and residencies, work toward where your heart is and it will show in your work. And I look forward to seeing much more of all of your work in the future and seeing where your art journey takes you all. Thanks again. This piece is Winter Munch by Kit Paulson. It was chosen for an honorable mention in our Winter White Show here at FCCA. The reason why this piece spoke to me so much is, as I said before, I was looking for pieces that, were, first of all, showed artistic excellence, and Kit's piece definitely does that. Her use of watercolor is amazing. I especially love the way that she uses color and the way that she uses white space. If you can see the white space just flows throughout and then yet it comes, it's used also to create shape and it's just a very beautiful use of how she has used the white space in the watercolor, which is such a difficult thing to do with a watercolor painting. Also, um, there's a great sense of story here with the horses in this winter painting, which I also really appreciated about this piece. And I just think overall it's a very beautiful painting, and that is why it got chosen for an honorable mention in this show. This piece called The Path Untaken by Fritzi Newton also won an honorable mention in our Winter White show. This is another piece where I can really sense the story in it. I could almost just place myself in this piece here. Um, also, this is a beautiful photograph. It's just a very artistic photograph. Uh, for me, when I first saw it, I could not even believe it is actually a photograph. And it's just a breathtaking photograph. And that is why it won an honorable mention in our Winter White show. This piece called February Sun Reaches Lone Charlet is by Susan Garrett and it's an acrylic piece. This piece also won an honorable mention in our Winter White show here. This piece also has a fabulous sense of story and a wonderful use of color. Um, but it is winter white, but you can see still the sunset and then the sunset color reflected down here as the outline of the cows. I just think is a masterful use of color here in this acrylic painting. And I love the expressions that the cows have on them as well. And so this piece also won an honorable mention in our show, Winter White. This piece is called Then Comes the Sun. It's by Anita Adams and it is an acrylic. This is another piece that got an honorable mention in our Winter White show. This piece was chosen because um, it is a beautiful acrylic. I love the way that the, the acrylic suggests movement as it goes through this piece. Also, it's another piece that I could just put myself right in and feel like I am in a wintry wonderland moving around in it. So that's one of the reasons I chose it. The other reason that I chose this piece was because I could, like I said, I could feel the movement in it. So I'm feeling the movement of the grasses going one way. And I also really enjoy the composition of the thirds in this one and the color too. The, it's a very subtle blue moving into this one, but the color and the composition just works together really well in this piece. This piece is called Heading Home. It's by Lois Baer. And it also received an honorable mention in our Winter White show. This piece is an absolute mastery of oil. The tiny, tiny details you can see in here are amazing mastery of her oil. And also you can see the sense of story in this picture. The um, people in it, the mom and child here, at least I think they're a mom and child, just look like they are just enjoying their day in the snow and just gave me a real sense of story and I really appreciate that about this oil painting and that's why it won an honorable mention. This piece is called Sentinels 2. It's by Barbara Taylor Hall and I selected it to be the third place winner at our FCCA Winter White show. This piece 
is acrylic, but it is a masterful acrylic. I am just floored by the fact that it is acrylic. Um, it, to me, it almost speaks of a watercolor. It's so light and airy and just beautiful. Um, I, when, when you look at it from far away, it gives a completely different feeling than when you look at it up close. The use of composition to where you're seeing the way that the canvas is cut here, but then it's also you're brought in by the trees over here, which are called the sentinels, just evokes a real sense of majesty I feel in this painting. Also, again, the subtle use of color. You have the blue that just brings you down into it, and then these lovely earth tones of the browns that just really speak to the majesty of the trees. And I just really love that the name of the sentinels just gives me a feeling of the peace watching over and the trees watching over in the winter. And I just think it's a fabulous piece for winter white. And that is why it won third in our winter white show here at FCCA. This is The Counting House by Marcia Chavez. Received second place in our show here, Winter White, at the Fredericksburg Center for Creative Arts. The reason that I chose this piece to be our second place winner is first of all, it is just a beautiful painting and it's a beautiful oil. Um, you can see Marsha's mastery of the oil painting. It has beautiful composition. The color in it is absolutely gorgeous. I love that she has used the cool tones to bring out the white. I also love that there are just the little tiny bits of red that draw your eye around. And also the curve of the bridge just really brings your eye into this house as well. This is just a magnificent oil piece and that is why it received second place here in our show at FCCA this month. This is our first place winner for our show here. This is called Invernal, Invernal Portal Ice Storm by Joseph Tabella. And it has all of the characteristics that I was looking for when I started looking at the paintings for this show. It is original and has artistic excellence and it has a great use of color even though it is a winter white show. You can see the white going through it, but also the use of color is amazing. I especially love how it has weaved this magenta in through here. The other thing that's amazing about the composition is the frame within a frame within a frame which goes back and back a long way in history of artists using that frame within a frame. Um, also he has got the natural elements um, of the snow working within the structural elements of the frame and at some points the natural elements are even escaping out of the different frames Overall, it tells just a wonderful story, and that is why this piece is our first place winner in our show this month. I'd like to thank Jennifer Galvin for doing a wonderful job of selecting this exhibition and selecting the awards. And of course, we invite you to come in in person and enjoy the artwork. We will have our video posted on YouTube by first Friday, this December 3rd, so be watching for that. Each month we put our videos up on First Fridays. The Fredericksburg Center for Creative Arts located at 813 Sophia Street in downtown historic Fredericksburg, Virginia. Jennifer, it's been a pleasure working with you. Thank you so much for taking on this challenging task. You did a great job. Well, thank you so much, Carol. It's been great being here and I just want to again thank all the artists for submitting the wonderful artwork and just Thank you for having me here and I appreciate everything and want to tell the artists to just keep submitting their artwork and I look forward to seeing what you all do next. And this video will follow up with a walkthrough of the entire exhibition. Uh, please stay tuned. Thank you.
the Fredericksburg Center for the Creative Arts, where art and history meet.